visited Bernardo's all-girls group in Sutton once a month. Can you tell us what it was like to find out that you are autistic? I found out I was autistic when I was 11 years old and I was over the moon because I knew I was different in the way I managed things compared to my friends and having a name for it helped me to understand what was causing my issues and how I could improve. When did you notice that you thought a bit differently from other people? I know that I knew that I was different because I didn't like socialising as much as my friends did. I I acted a bit differently. I was very quiet. I also couldn't handle my emotions. When I got angry, I couldn't express how I felt. Instead, I just lashed out. And I was like, this isn't what my peers do, so there must be something different. And I know that these are signs of autism. What are the positive things about being autistic? To me, the positive thing about autistic is that I know I have a name for my difficulties. So I'm, instead of people saying, oh, why are you being na naughty and stuff, it's actually, no, I'm autistic and I'm struggling. Also, the positive for autism is it shows when I'm being myself and I'm actually being naughty on purpose, um, which I don't do a lot of, and when I am actually struggling and have the autism some issues, so those are the positives. What has helped you to develop a positive understanding of this part of your identity? When I got diagnosed, my parents bought me books for me to understand. They um, met me, um, I, I, I was under CAMS, so CAMS helped me understand what autism was about, and that helped me form understand what autism meant in general, and then my personal I personally just told myself what autism does to me, which helped me form my own kind of identity for autism. What things do you find trickier because of being autistic? I struggle with social skills. I'm great at making friends, but maintaining friends and the unwritten social rules of what you should not do and what you shouldn't do, I struggle with a lot. Um, so that's what I struggle with. Also, sometimes expressing how I feel in a certain situation. What helps you with these areas? My parents help me by like telling me maybe to calm down or to step back. Um, I have strategies like sensory toys, fidget rings, um, to help me calm down if I'm in an anxious situation and if it gets too much. Being with people who understand if I need to step outside or just go somewhere quiet. What do you do to look after your own well-being? I um, I make sure I have enough sleep because it is known, a known fact that autistic people have less melatonin which causes it, which makes us sleep um, than non-autistic people. So making sure I get enough sleep so I can manage through the day. Um, having time just to myself in my room reading or playing with my toys and stuff and just being with my family. What was good about school and what did they do to support you? I went to a very I went to a mainstream secondary school which were very understanding about my autism and if I needed to they I had support in class, so if I wanted to listen to the teacher, they would be able to write notes down for me because I struggled to do them at the same time. Um, I was able to go to the student support area, which was like quiet for lunch and break time, so I didn't have to go outside. Um, I was able to go to the canteen early if I needed to, if it was getting too crowded. And I just had an amazing Zenko who was just there for me when I needed her. What would make schools more autism friendly? It varies because I'm quite low on the spectrum and I kind of can deal very well with mainstream school and then there's people who can't handle mainstream school at all. I think understanding what the person's individual needs are and just like accepting them. So for example, if they have sensory toys, letting them bring them into school discreetly and to use them. Or if they don't like... Um, going outside and stuff, letting them stay inside at break time and lunch time, just 
meeting their needs but also helping them understand that they can manage school. What things can be difficult about friendships or relationships with other people? Um, unwritten social rules. It is very common, especially as teenagers, to say one thing but mean another thing. And especially I struggle with that. It's like, can you just tell me what you're wanting to say? Luckily, my friends that I am still friends with know that and they will, and they will say this is sarcasm or that. But people who like banter around and I don't know if it's banter that that makes it difficult and especially when people especially girls no offense um they talk behind your back I and it's very hard to deal with because you can't you don't know how to deal in that situation is there anything your friends do to help you my friends that I'm quite close to they they actually sometimes know if I'm stressed before I'm stressed and they'll be like, let's maybe go outside. They'll like go into my bag and get my sensory stuff if I'm not near it. They're just very supportive and if I need to step back, they're just there saying, let's go somewhere else. And they, they, they readjust the plan to make sure that I can carry on the day. What would make the world more autism friendly? I think... People understanding that if you've met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. It's not always people, it's not always non-verbal boys who are autistic, which I think makes it very difficult, especially for girls. Um, because there are people still who say no, autism's only in boys, which makes it very difficult. Also, being just supportive, um, like... I know that people are starting, shops are starting to do the autism hour friendly where they turn down the volume and everything and that's really helpful and I think if that sort of path carries on then autistic people can cope better in a non-autistic world. Thank you.